Hello everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th edition edition. We're here deep in the swamps next to the Riverside Tea House. And rather than just picking a fight with those red caps outside, they didn't do anything wrong to us yet. So let's waltz up here and see what this guy's all about. Very well. 73 hit points, he's no joke. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul. Metallic and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. Astarian knows. What's a what's a girl? A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Oh, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. If I were a cutthroat, I wouldn't admit it either. True. And I have no proof to offer but my word. If you wish it, our paths need not cross again. I'm hunting a vampire spawn. And it's a little too bright for you to be my prey. His name is Astarian. But I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. And what are you doing when you find this guy? Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Time for us to go. Good luck with your quest. Thank you. Treating with a hag. I need all the luck I can get. May your road be kind. So he's not going to head inside ahead of us to the hag then. Because that would be more interesting. Dagger root, whatever the heck this was used for. You know, just casually sitting out here in the garden. It's a nice statement piece, you could say. Uh, Astarian, why don't you just have a little rummage through this guy's pockets? Uh, we've got some arrows, some garlic, some potions of healing. DC 12. I don't think we need it. I don't think we need the risk of an extra fight. Over here. Right, let's get back to Lana. Don't stop me yet. And let's go in and see what's happening in this house. I wanted the easy path. Let us, let's swing by the well first. A fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. Drink from the well. Gale approves. The warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster, better. All right, Daft Punk. So we have gained refreshed maximum hit points increased by 10 until our next long rest hmm. i guess we'll all take a drink a from the well then warm rush of refresh your bag. refresh a smell of yes the warm rush of ready and willing go on gail get in there a fetid smell of salt the warm rush of all right, so we've all got 10 extra hit points to play with for what's to come. At least things have stayed interesting. Moving ahead. Right. If you knew you were going in for negotiations with a hag, you would obviously give yourself a little guidance first. Pop the doors. <laughs> I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't 
make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa, hmm? Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Right, before we continue on with our conversations, I was just wondering if you could had anything to trade. And the game crashed. Of course it did. So, repeating my walkthrough, we did not manage to undo the illusion of what's going on here, and Astarian is apparently rotting. That seems bad. Something. But I'm going to repeat the conversation we just had, and then we'll get back inside. All right, shall we try this again? All right, what now? We guide ourselves for haggling with a witch. A hag. A hag haggle. A hag haggle. I don't want a crumb. And yes. Yes. Oh, if it isn't yes, we know. God's yes. Grant me patience. Eat up, uh, Marina. Glad you got here safely. I'm thanks to people in Do and you. That regular swimming uh, right. in your brain juice yes. is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Yes, we've reached the brain wiggler, but can we trade first? Didn't crash yet. Didn't crash yet. I want the spell thief. 1d8 plus dex piercing. Once per short rest, you regain a level 1 spell slot when you land a critical hit with the Spell Thief. 666 gold is a bargain. Give me that healing potion and these healing potions and three potions. Oh. Maybe... Uh, they're not that expensive, are they? 378 for the bunch. Do I want any more than that? Just this? While the wielder is attacked while not wearing armor, they receive a 1d4 bonus to saving throws. That is that is a good a good thing, but Gale's got his new fancy other staff. So let's trade this stuff. And give that to Astarian. Astarian can equip that, I hope. Did it not make it across inventories? Doesn't do that yet. Fine. Back to the conversation. Um, how do you know about my brain wiggler? Because you stink. And I know the stench of mind flare anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck. Then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more. Nothing less. I politely decline. Ethel, can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open, Petal. Auntie Ethel is here for you. Right, Marina's I gone. Can just walk into homes now. This gets better and better. Auntie Ethel, trader of quirks and sundries. Right, where's that bow? That is for a starion. Careful, I bite. So we now have the arcane vehemence. Once per short rest, you regain a level one spell slot when you land a critical hit with the spell thief. So he's uh just all powered up, isn't he? Looking ahead. Whereas we just have a whole bunch of our innate stuff. Right. So. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this house. None of which right now we can really steal without too much effort. That potion of greater healing is available to us. 
antitoxin. I never, t I never consume it, so I'm not even going to bother. Potion of animal speaking, wooden chests, shabby wardrobe, more chests, more potions. So, without having got into any kind of a conflict yet, oh, there we go. The fireplace is real. What's hidden behind it? Right, it's a great question. If the others would get down here, we could consider just trying to waltz through. Her back is turned. I just don't know how it's going to impact the rest of the dungeon if we waltz in of our own volition without starting some kind of conversation. But we've done it now. And we can just head down these stairs to the next part of the loading zone. Alright, well, here we are then. Mushrooms growing around. Let's get stealthing, perhaps. A quick save. Stop. Please. Please. Don't know if a bard would be able to help any of these people and their problems with a story or a tale. Mirrors, a headless person, Stop. Please. Please. a petrified what person, blinded elf, blinded elf, a watery eye on a stick. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. Well, her possessions are mine now, she won't be needing them. Shall we peep the gnarly cauldron? Okay, that's that's that then. Yep. Up here, masks, hourglass, Lauren, and a locked door. Can I walk through you as well? I can. All right, and then after that, we reach the room with the folks that are not our friends. Away. Away. I'd love to know if we could Don't steal the masks Don't. from their heads. You feel the. I didn't want to touch that door. Uh, a star, uh, not sorry, and Gale. Did you ever learn? To make people invisible. You did. And we have it prepared. Don't All right. Look. Would you be Don't. so kind as to make a Starion invisible? Evanesco. And Shadowheart, if you would give him advantage on his stealth checks. I can't because I can't Don't target an invisible creature. Look. That's Don't. on me. Alright, so one invisible Astarian going for a little walk. We're gonna do. I'm hoping to do some light pickpocketing. What can we rescue? I cannot take your mask. That's a bugger, isn't it? Well, we can sneak attack something with devastating effect, I'm sure. What's in this tiny pouch? Steak. I do not need steak. What about the others? Do they have anything I can take from their persons? Nope. Well, that is a shame, isn't it? And the map shows us that it looks like there's four of them here. Thing is, once we start attacking, we can't 
be invisible anymore. That will immediately end. Oh. Our concentration is broken. I'm a little confused. Okay, well. Astarian's over here doing his thing independently. Do we reckon we could hide right here? Yeah, we could. But I want to get the others in the fight first because initiative hasn't been rolled for everyone yet. Let me work my magic. So. We need to get far enough Such in here that we can Look. get into the fight with Don't. someone. There's one back there. Not great line sights here. Eat this. But that will do. We'll all focus on that one over there, shall we? Oh, solid damage from the cantrip. Lana. Last but not least. And that is a crit to introduce ourselves to the party. Right, so back to Astarian. We can sneak attack here again. That's going to help. Let's climb up here with our movement. That is our action and our bonus action. They're surprised. You're surprised. You're over there just having a real bad time, it seems. But we can't get... A sh oh, we can get a shot on there. Uh, you have two HP left. Can I see anyone else? I can see you. So if we bonus action hide. Ah, you're too far away for that. All right, well, you it is. Very dead. Let's spend our movement getting closer to these other two then. Lana. What can Charm Person do here? Magically charm a humanoid you can see. Once the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed. Enemies have advantage and saving throws against being charmed. Uh, is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah, nothing else is going to help us here. All right then. Well, we need to get fighting. Best be on my way. Not much else we can do about it. Unleash me. Right, Gail is in the fight and eager. Don't think we can see you through the tree, but we can see you over there. Take this. And they're really, really having a bad time, aren't they? Alright, just a, a little stabby with a stick. That's my new name for arrows, stabby sticks. These two are not getting back at us, ever. And I don't know if the fight is broken or whether they're resisting charm in some specific way. But I've got nothing else to attempt to do. Bad shot. Blood comes easy these days. Which one's more nearly dead? Definitely you. Can't do my bonus action shot? No, nope, apparently that was in there somewhere. Gale. Heat over here. Good. 
just keep murdering her captives. You know, there's nothing ever gone wrong with that. And we're getting good, good leverage out of that today. Uh, bonus action hide. Sneak attack. Well, that might be the smoothest that fight has ever gone for me. Studded leather armor is just as good for leather armor as the stuff that we just put on Astarian, the plus one le leather Should armor. Should have come here first, shouldn't we? Uh, poisonous slime bombs. You know you want it. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend. She is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. Well, someone's been oh, having a real grand time over here, huh? You there, just the basics. Pouch had a stake in it, if I recall. And the Mask of Terror over here. Longbow. More studded leather armor. Well, if nothing else, it's worth a pretty penny. Potion of animals speaking. Sure. And then we wander this way. And through the waterfall, we hop. Smells like death in here. A lot of death. Ignis! Right away. Are the rest of us gonna follow along? Lana? Is that blood? Can you not make the jump? No, my you can. Carry me. Starion, how about you? Hello again. One step at a time. Right, now we're all together again. Everything looks new. And we have all kinds of poisonous gases oh, to deal with. I could get used to this. Certainly. In which case, Gale, how about Mine. Oh jeez. I'd better be careful not to trigger that thing. Alright, let's Let's retreat urgently. Thanks. What now? Okay. Peculiar flowers. Well, these don't seem too bad. Oh, okay. This was not my intention, but sure. Thankfully, we don't lose our only trap kit. Gale, Lovely day, this. you're For now. doing that. Eat this. How about here Eat as this. well? you get down there? Eat this. Right, that's a little bit safer. But now we're just going to very slowly walk through this scary unknown place. Ow. Well, that was unpleasant. Tough to do anything about it when it's at the bottom of a ladder. Even if it's a vine ladder. My. I'd better be careful not to trigger that thing. Alright, sorry. Get to the screen. Thank you. Guidance. Oh, dear. And I spent... All of my inspirations trying to reveal the, uh... What's it, Majigger? You know, the thing. Uh, apparently we can just do this again. Uh, trying to see through the... Mirage outside. The illusion. Right, let's drop a quick save real quick before any possible and impending crashes because this fight has not been the most stable in the history of the world let's get everyone just like old times. 
spell thing together. Should we take a short rest? Yes. Yes, we should. There's a lot of HP out of a short rest. Um, Gale. You want some mage armor before we get into a big fight. Anything else? I think we're probably going to be okay. Right. There's Marina. We do not have eyes on the hag. There, in the cage. You were stealthing, but you know, it's fine. They were Come on already. We're gonna go the long way round, so that she doesn't see us see us in her vision cone. And then we will try and activate this control orb and free her. Okay. Well, she's free. She's not very chatty about it. Fine. Hello. Where's the tea house? What's going on? We got you away from Ethel. You're welcome. But where did she go? What is going on? God's this place. Leave the swamp. Never come back. On my own? No, I can't. Please don't leave me here. Okay. On my way. Ready or not, move unseen. So, as is the tradition, we try and free her, and nothing happens around these parts. Question is, what are we going to try and do about it? I think one of the usual go tos. Let's just do another quick save, just because manipulating things because this scene I think hasn't loaded correctly is a reason I would allow things to kind of have a do over if needs be. Let's throw this right there. No? No hag over there? Well, this is awkward. If we can't finish this quest again... Unless she is still just hanging out at the top in the tea house, but... That's not very helpful for me. I shouldn't be doing this with the rogue. But, you know. Very, very quiet. We were just making loads of noise, you know. Shouting about our presence. What if Lana, can you, as a bard, speak Where's some sense in here? What's going on? You were eating pie with a hag. What did you expect? Not this! God's this place. We have a hag to kill. What? You can't! She's a hag! Please don't leave me here. Alright. Game is Time not enjoying ahead. this. We'll do a quick lap of this room. See if anything changes. There is work to do. No time to waste. Otherwise, we'll just have to make our escape, I suppose. Normally, trying to attack this space here does something, but... No luck. Alright then, let's go through this door down at the bottom. 
You can see a quest marker denoting an exit over here. An autosave for us. It's like an abattoir in here. The ever seeing eye. Potion of speed. The wand of bitter divorce. Letters. A heavy chest. They call that jewelry. All of these potions do weird and wonderful things, but I'm not interested in doing terrible things to myself in a campaign where I don't want to have saves coming. So we'll take this cane and then come to this mushroom circle. That spits us out on the beach outside. Camera is having a field day today. We can't do anything about this whilst the hag is alive, as I understand it. Is she still in here? She absolutely is. She never had any mechanical reason to make the journey back downstairs. So now we can try and attack her here and see if that will instigate a fight here or whether she'll teleport back downstairs and we'll have to redo the journey back down. Apparently we can still use the mushroom circle. So I don't know if we'll be able to get the jump on her, but that is going to have to be something else we find out next time for now. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.